Hi. Okay. Um, for World Book Day, I'm going to read you the book, Jumble Bum. It's all about a boy called Johnny who doesn't like tidying his bedroom. Sound familiar? Okay. This is the story about Johnny McNess, whose room was an eye-popping, tum-churning mess. Look at that bedroom. Careful, Mum warned, growing faint with the pong, holding her nose as the smell was so strong. All of this stuff lying crinkled and creased is sure to attract the jumble bum beast. I can't see what's wrong, Johnny said with a smile. I think that my room has its own special style. But later that night, as he snoozed and snored, something was stirring down there on the floor. That something was smelly, that something was big, that something went snuffle and snort like a pig. For there in the corner, enjoying a feast, was the horribly slobbery jumble bum beast. Its body was made up of wrinkled up clothes, all grubby and gross from its head to its toes. Its hot, stinky breath reeked of smelly old shoes and out of its mouth leaked a luminous ooze. The beast made a sound like a rusty trombone and Johnny woke up with a bleary-eyed groan. Harumph, haroo, the jumble bum howled. Then spotting Johnny, it let out a growl. Quite had enough of eating these clothes. I think I might snack on a little pink nose. I bet kids taste better than t-shirts and pants and mouldy green hamburgers covered in ants. The beast licked his lips then let out a roar. But Johnny was fast and he dashed for the door. He ran down the hall with the thing close behind. But where could he go that was tricky to find? The kitchen was perfect, a shadowy room. He wouldn't be seen tucked away in the gloom, but the monster thumped in and it sniffed the air, peered under the table and guess who was there. Harumph haroo, cried the vile jumble bum. You're about to end up in my fat jumble tum. But Johnny was smarter than most of us snacks and had clever ways to avoid such attacks. The creature leapt forward, its mouth open wide, but Johnny was quick and he stepped to one side. And right in the spot where he'd only just been was the thing that would save him. The washing machine. The monster plunged in from its head to its feet and spluttered with, with rage. That's not fair, you're a cheat. It let out a gurgle as mum sprinted in and reached for the button marked extra fast spin. Since then, Johnny's managed to pull off a feat. That bedroom of his is now lovely and neat. And you wouldn't be wise to listen to mum, just in case that wasn't the last jumble bum. the end. Have an amazing World Book Day and I'll see you later.